Hi, I'm Sarah with Crafty Creatures, and today we'll be making the Potted Cacti Painting from your Keep em Busy box. For this painting, we will need one canvas panel, art paints, and some paint brushes. From home, let's find a pencil and eraser, a cup of water for washing brushes, and a mess-friendly place to, to paint. Once we have all of our supplies, let's get started. Turn your paper landscape so it's wider than it is tall. Draw a straight line along the bottom of your paper. Draw two to three little pots for your cacti to sit inside. Add some cacti or other plants you like into the pots. There are lots of shapes out there of all different kinds of cactuses. Once you've finished drawing, it's time to paint. Let's first paint our ground with our nice brown color. And we want to fill it in as neatly as possible. We don't want to go over our pots if we can. Next, we are going to fill in our background with some yellow. And again, let's take care not to paint over our pots or plants. But because this color is light, if we go over the edges a little bit, it's not going to be too noticeable. We can dry brush some bits of orange onto the yellow once we finish. To dry brush, clean and dry your paintbrush thoroughly and then dip only the very tips of the bristles into the paint and brush it on. It'll be nice and rough. It'll give it some texture. Let your painting dry for a little bit. While we wait, we can mix some different shades of green. We can add yellows, white, bits of blue, all in different amount to different amounts of green paint to make some different shades. We can experiment with this stage. Next, we're going to paint our cacti. We can use darker, more bluish shades of green for shadows or lighter shades for high whites. Pick the colors or colors for your pots and paint them in. You can even try some patterns. Let your painting dry completely before moving on to the next step. Use the end of your paintbrush or even a toothpick to add some little tiny white dots or short lines onto your cacti for some added detail. But this is a bonus step. You don't have to do it if you don't want to. Let your masterpiece dry completely before moving it. Thanks for painting with me today. I'll see you wise owls next time for a new craft. Goodbye.